Good morning, everyone and all uh, present here. I first of all thank and appreciate uh, uh, India today uh, for uh, taking this subject of uh, you know, robotics and uh, artificial intelligence. As we stand at the crossroads of uh, you know, one of the uh, very big uh, uh, transformation in the industry, which is uh, rise of the AI. AI is integrated in uh, many of our uh, lives, you know, like uh, we, uh, uh, you know, none of our days are past now, you know, like without even com coming across something, you know, like in our lifetime, you know, like in a days-to-day -day life, you know, without using uh, AI tool or uh, something related to AI. That is, that is what uh, the dominance that uh, AI is uh, doing right now. And uh, on that note, uh, you know, uh, what kind of impacts been created into our day-to-day -day life? What sort of uh, impacts it's creating in the job market? And what sort of, you know, impacts it's creating in the, in the, in the institute side, you know, as we need to prepare the students as we being, being predominantly into the technical, uh, you know, sector creating large number of engineers, you know, what kind of changes that we need to bring all these things uh, uh, comes to a you know question, and uh, the kind of uh, technological uh, uh, transformation uh, which is uh, happening nowadays, it's new even during the uh, right from the uh, industrial uh, uh, revolution when we thought that you know when the computers were invented or uh, internet was uh, uh, on onto its peaks, uh, we were thinking about uh, it will eat the job. Uh, elite out the job and uh, people will go jobless. All these are all, you know, it's a uh, history, you know, year after year or you no, know, like uh, decades after decade when such kind of transformations coming, uh, this keeps, uh, this question keeps coming up actually. Okay, but uh, when we, when we really look into uh, what kind of uh, uh, change or what kind of uh, uh, impact this is going to create in this uh, job market, uh, is the question, and uh, I am happy, you know, like uh, heading the uh, placement and corporate uh, affairs at Satyabama. Uh, we are very keen on, you know, like it helped me also to do a deep uh, research, and uh, Mr. Rajiv's talk, you know, like definitely helped us, given us, though it has given us a lot of insights, you know, I was also curiously watching, you know, like uh, what kind of message, you know, like Rajiv was also going to deliver, but mine is. Uh, very crucial, you no? Know, like I need to say whether you know uh, the AI is uh, destroying the job market or creating job market. Thanks, uh, Rajiv, for all the uh, you know uh, data points that you have given, and uh, it's it certainly helps. You know, it's it's in sync with uh, what I have uh, you know prepared uh, to deliver here. Uh, while uh, uh, certain repetitive data are related uh, jobs and something related to uh, you know, repetitive works are all uh, fully automated. Uh, still, uh, there is a huge, the trend uh, remains on uh, uh, augmenting the human uh, potential. Uh, the AI uh, uh, needs to, the AI tends to, to, the AI tends to act like a co-pilot uh, uh, handling data processing and uh, preliminary activities which allows uh, human uh, workers to focus on, uh, um, you know, when, it's, when it is taking care of the initial level works, uh, it is allowing the human uh, to focus on the higher order uh, work, works, uh, uh, which is related to uh, critical thinking and uh, uh, strategy uh, ma making, decision making kind of works, you know, which will be uh, carried out uh, by them. And uh, even uh, the major technological uh, changes when we when it was uh, when it has happened, as uh, I was uh, telling earlier, uh, uh, like we uh, speak about when the computers have come. When I was in the school, we were talking about all the banking jobs, you know, like clerical works, uh, typewriting jobs. All these things will vanish, and we all have seen, you know, like how it has multiplied and then given us, uh, you know, different uh, uh, kind of uh, job profiles uh, altogether.
the uh, let us you know on that note you know like let's uh, let's discuss about the cognitive model structures uh, uh, which is uh, emerging we spoke about uh, you know how human human can uh, collaborate with uh, ai and then do the collaborative works it clearly uh, require ai of course you know like uh, uh, it's been directed by human the human should uh, learn to work with uh, ai to bring out uh, uh, better productivity better uh, better uh, efficiency and uh, we have come across with a lot of uh, uh, alg you know applications which has been used in the uh, industry uh, every day the copilot is also becoming copilot is also it's, it's acts as a copilot to support our uh, day to day activities and uh, it helps us in you know like contextual uh, understanding of uh, um, you know the ai tools and ai has to be ethically and uh, trustworthily uh, it has to be um, um, you know trained to take care of uh, the ethical values or standards set by any system and uh, the uh, before i really jump into the uh, differences uh, uh, between you know like or the uh, initial or the or the actual talk of uh, how the ai is destroying the job market or uh, you know creating the job market uh, if you could see the future of uh, artificial intelligence you know uh, you could see it in all fields of our life uh, especially uh, it has taken over in uh, it it or you no know, like medical fields here if you could see you know like i have mentioned up mentioned up uh, few of them including tourism and hospi hospitality where ai ai improves uh, the travel planning smart uh, uh, hotel hotel services and it's uh, uh, very much uh, getting into legal and uh, law enforcement where uh, the ai supports uh, evidence and uh, uh, you know analysis uh, digital investigation and legal research all those been all those fields are uh, using the ai and uh, uh, of course you know like aero aerospace and uh, defense you know we recently have uh, uh, seen you know there is a robo been uh, released by indian army also you know how it controls the line of uh, control effectively 24 bar uh, 7 you know the it's not like a human you know uh, it, it can work 3 365 days and uh, 24 bar 7 which which is actually uh, uh, it's protecting the human life and then uh, uh, standing in the line of control and doing what uh, a man can uh, uh, do at the loc and uh, these are all uh, the few previous uh, uh, i mean few of the uh, statistics where uh, industry based uh, ai adoption is happening and uh, over 38 percentage of uh, um, uh, manufacturers and uh, marketing use uh, ai for uh, production because that's a, a major one predominantly uh, using uh, all automations and uh, you know um, uh, uh, ai related uh, uh, tools and uh, machineries and about 35 percentage of uh, it and uh, telecom companies have integrated ai adding uh, significant value to the and operates to the uh, operates and uh, uh, in and uh, customer experiences and adoption of uh, ai in accounting classrooms alone you know it remains uh, limited with the most of the educators uh, uh, preferring to relying on uh, the traditional uh, approaches so uh, you know with that you know uh, i'll uh, uh, i'll discuss about why few people uh, uh, thinks that ai is a destroyer okay so though we cannot uh, uh, rule or we cannot say that it's a destroyer uh, continuing with what rajiv was uh, telling a uh, few of the assumption you know like uh, we could uh, make it as you know like uh, false that you know like because of course it's displacing few of the work profiles which is ex existing i mean few of the work resources which is existing but certainly uh, not uh, destroying them the mass automation especially ai rapidly you know like uh, displacing the human at many sectors uh, uh, from uh, manufacturing to the detail and uh, customer service uh, uh and uh, transportations machines can uh, work as i have mentioned machines can work uh, 24 bar uh, 7 uh, uh, without pay and then breaks so definitely no like it's uh, uh, it's actually certainly saving a lot of money to the business so some of the some of the fields are uh, been uh, automated and uh, displacement uh, without uh, equal uh, replacement that's one of the claim 
while uh, new jobs are created uh, to require which but but we new jobs are created uh, uh, to uh, replace the existing ones but certainly it requires uh, uh, higher uh, skill levels when when you know like when i talk about that higher uh, skill levels uh, we don't we don't find you know like uh, sufficient resources are uh, getting up skilled to do the replacement that's where you no know, like uh, the equal replacements are all not happening and when we talk about uh, skill gap and uh, uh, you know inequality inequality the a focus uh, uh, with the technical expertise uh, welcoming the gap uh, between uh, high skill and uh, uh, high income uh, workers uh, and those are repetitive uh, uh, or uh, uh, manual jobs the academic uh, the, this accelerate uh, the econ economic uh, inequality in inequality uh, because like only the skilled skilled resources are the skill are the uh, people uh, who can upskill themselves you know like based on the expectation uh, uh, by the particular market scenario only are able to grab the opportunities and uh, the cost and costing uh, priorities of some of the um, you know businesses if they prefer to not looking into what actually uh, uh, you know the human resources are going to do or uh, how the displaced working working resources going to uh, get into the other uh, other roles people look into the uh, cost priorities how we can save the cost and then you know like uh, reduce uh, the expenses and then increase the profits that that comes to in some of the uh, some of the business and which becomes one of the destroyer and the uh, erosion of uh, uh, traditional uh, uh, industries like uh, you know as i told you when uh, uh, you know the computers have come uh, uh, we could see uh, the typewriters uh, have uh, uh, gone and uh, you know the anything related to that uh, maintenance uh, and when the digital uh, uh, media medium boosted up uh, the printing industry have uh, gone for a task and uh, all these things are uh, uh, you know becoming uh, becoming you know like uh, eroded by the of uh, the traditional uh, industries and when i uh, talk about a uh, psychological and uh, uh, social uh, impact uh, becoming a uh, destroyer of course you know like when the uh, uh, machine does uh, does uh, the most of the work uh, the human at times you know like uh, uh, becomes uh, um, uh, human uh, human's identity becomes uh, a question mark some of his uh, uh, some of his you know work uh, skills are uh, uh, you know job skills are uh, not been uh, used and uh, when i uh, before i move to uh, this um, uh, job creator uh, role and uh, some of the job you know like uh, are at uh, risky by uh, 2030 the a, a automation uh, threatens to displace uh, around uh, 6 to 7% of the work workforce uh, uh, in certain countries uh, uh, by uh, 20 30 it is actually especially in roles uh, involving repetitive and uh, routine tasks uh, like uh, you know could be an uh, uh, industrial whether where it is uh, automated uh, could be an uh, assembly line uh, work uh, or uh, uh, data less related data entry related works as kind of things you know like could be replaced uh, much faster and uh, uh, by 2030 up to 92 million uh, jobs could be lost uh, due to ai that's where you no know, like uh, uh, rajiv also mentioned you know instead of uh, we think about too much about uh, negative uh, stuff which is getting spread faster uh, with 90 92 uh, million uh, jobs lose you know like we were talking about uh, uh, 140 million jobs which is uh, created of course i repeat you know like which need the uh, higher order uh, uh, skills and when we talk about uh, the ais uh, or creator we are talking about uh, ai only replaces a uh, task it's not going to uh, you know replace the entire job probably uh, the skill set which is essential is uh, uh, getting changed and that's the reason why we call it as you know in the industry and in the you know in the institutes level also when we ask people to uh, go ahead and then you know upskill themselves uh, we keep saying you have to be a lifelong learner now ai uh, and it could be super ai you know like uh, in in a few years 
and uh, whatever that we are talking about will be also uh, displaced with something else in the future. So the emergence of uh, new roles, of course, you know, like instead of, uh, now we talk about if we talk uh, to an IT professional also, you know, like if we talk about some of the alumni, what they does is, you know, like nobody is uh, sitting and then uh, uh, coding actually. If, uh, you know, chat GPT does everything or anything alternate to chat GPT, giving them the entire uh, code on what they do, people are developing. So, so now uh, the trend uh, uh, from a software engineer uh, moving towards uh, it could be an uh, uh, AI architect or a data scientist. So the newer uh, roles are uh, keep on uh, emerging. And uh, uh, human AI collaboration, I talked, to, talked about this in the one of the previous slides also. It's very crucial for us to direct uh, an, uh, a machine on you know, how to behave. And uh, we all should learn to work with uh, AI or uh, machine how collaboratively we can uh, work and then create or uh, bring in the productivity that uh, end of the day that we are all expecting it. And reskilling and adoption, definitely that's a key and that's the only thing uh, we always uh, keep, see, keep telling that, you know, uh, learning is the only, only constant word will remains in the industry wherein you are expected to learn, unlearn, and relearn. So the relearning or reskilling, uh, adapting to the uh, technology which is emerging, which is very, very uh, crucial. And uh, the reskilling plays a huge role uh, in, in any, any industry uh, wherein you are expected to reskill yourself and adopt the technology which is in demand, then only you will be on demand in the market. And, uh, you know, when we can uh, do that uh, collaborative uh, work, definitely it is uh, going to increase the productivity and definitely uh, in that way it is going to uh, increase the, or no, like the uh, growth, growth in the economy also will happen. So, uh, you know, uh, having uh, talked about uh, how uh, AI is um, going to rule the world, how uh, AI is, you know, going to create a different kind of uh, um, working environment, uh, different kind of uh, working roles is going to be created, and uh, it's, it's going to multifold uh, the opportunities than what we are going to uh, lose out. AI is definitely a, a powerful job creator. And uh, we said that, you know, I, 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 you know, some of research and then found out that, you know, like 97 million new job roles will be generated, you know, as against uh, what Rajiv said, you know, like 140 million new roles uh, will be generated, which is uh, very uh, uh, happy to uh, see that. So the AI definitely here to not to, you know, like dominate the working environment, but uh, definitely it is uh, going to create a hybrid uh, methodology or a hybrid way of uh, working along with uh, men wherein their success is going to be measured based on the productivity and uh, how collaboratively both the machine and then uh, uh, you know human is uh, going to work together to achieve the desired uh, uh, task and uh, overall the a enhances uh, the human work and uh, it promotes the uh, economic growth proving itself more as a job enabler than a destroyer, okay? So having said that, it's, it's uh, up to us to, you know, like uh, learn to work with, uh, learn and work with uh, AI to get the desired output and to, you know, get better, better productivity. With that, I thank you once again, uh, the uh, uh, India Today for giving this opportunity. Uh, and uh, definitely there is a lot of takeaways and I'm looking forward for uh, listening to the other, uh, other uh, speakers also to find out because we, from the university point of uh, uh, view, uh, we have uh, uh, upgraded ourselves in terms of uh, uh, the technologies, what is required, the technologies, what is in demand uh, in the industry. And uh, we have the Metaverse Studio, we have the 3D Printing Studio, we have one of the powerful and, you know, like most advanced uh, supercomputing lab. And that way, what I'm trying to say is, you know, we, we started adapting, we started understanding what uh, the uh, next generation people should uh, learn uh, before they come out and then get into the industry. We got geared up uh, to face that and uh, we are also welcome to, uh, you know, have certain association. I know there is a lot of uh, 
uh, potential collaborators here from the industry will be very happy to listen and uh, we will be very happy to you know like share our resources and uh, uh, you know laboratories whatever is be, be available in uh, AI and robotics and uh, we'll have a meaningful collaboration together and uh, take this forward on a, a very strong journey thank you very much once again for this opportunity thank you